All right. I'm starting. I'm starting to look around for an engine. I'm gonna. I'm gonna start my winter project now, and uh, I'm looking for an engine to to use. And I was gonna use this one here. See what I usually use is these five S's. And I'm not gonna use this one because this is the one we bring to engine shows, just as a display because it's in such good shape. And uh, show people what what our uh, creations start as. So I'm not going to do anything to this, but I'm just, I have this here to compare it. And I was looking at this. I bought this at a show, and Mike was with me. And I says, I said, what is that over there? Is that, is that a 5 or 6S? He goes, no, he goes, it says, actually says here. Let me get a chair. It actually says here. Let me get my glasses for a second. All right, I'm back. Okay. It actually says here. You see that right here. A Model N. And before I bought it, I think I only paid uh, 10 bucks for this. But before I bought it, I asked Mike, I said, what is that? He says, I don't know. He says, look like it looks like a 6S or 5S. I think he said it looked like a 6S. And uh, then he looked at the tag here and he goes, uh, he goes, ah, it's not, it says N. And uh, he says, man, that's all hacked up. And by that he meant the, the ends, I don't think they have this kind of carburetor, you know. The ends have like a bowl carburetor sitting on the bottom, you know. I guess they call them an updraft. But anyway, he says, yeah, that thing's all hacked up. I said, well, I'm going to buy it anyway just for the block and the head and parts and stuff. But then, as I'm looking at it, I don't think it's an N. I think somebody might have just used this shroud. Because everything on here that I'm looking at says 6S on it, you know. 6S had this, this little extension here to help cool it. And, uh, and the, like I say, the carburetor is a 6S. And, and this is a... A late model, call them acorns. But uh, so I'm thinking, so I'm thinking this is just an, a six S, and somebody put this on there just just for cooling, because you need them shrouds to help cool the head. The only way I, I think the six S's are the the ends. I think they have uh, actual ball bearings in there and fuel pumps. So the only way for me to find out, you know, if that that is a a model N, which I doubt, is take it apart. So instead of taking it apart, I think I'm going to go out in the shed and see what I can find. You know what I thought was cool? Look at this muffler. This, this muffler's got to be uh, got to be original. And it's in good shape, too. See the way it's got the ends on there and stuff like that? Usually the newer ones are like this. You know, they're just uh, metal formed and stuff in the end. But anyway, I thought that was pretty cool. Alright, let's go out in the shed and uh, see what we can find. I'm going to try and find a 5 or 6S that uh, needs a little work. Before I go, I just noticed this uh, this 5S we had here is missing the carburetor and, and uh, the tank and everything. And I'm trying to think why. And then I remembered we took that off to run our glass head when uh, our buddy Smarter Every Day came to uh, photograph it, and he wanted to see what would run on gas. So uh, I got to find that carburetor and tank, put that back on there. All right, we're back in the shed here. This is where I keep my, uh, my excess. Just put the light on if that's gonna help you. That ain't gonna help you. And uh, store some of the stuff. I just threw the ladder up here. Come on up. Be careful. Alright, let me put the light on. That might help you now. There you go. Alright, let's see what we got here. You know, when I find an engine, I call it hack it up. Before I get an engine to hack up, I look to make sure that it's it's not something special. Like, you see this green one back here? I wouldn't hack that up because it's original and that has a, a lever start you know where you actually pull it back with your hand so that there's that's sort of a special engine then this one here I was going to take apart I was going to use this one but this one is a 5S I wouldn't say it's rare but it's rarer than than most because it has the, the recoil start on there and I think they use that maybe the the last year the five S's were in production. You know, even though it's a cheap engine, I paid ten bucks for it. Probably five. It says ten, I probably paid five. So uh and you know it has issues. Gas tanks messed up and everything, but uh other than that, it's in good shape and like I say it's it's one of the rarer five S's. Now here's another one. Excuse me, I don't want to fall down the stairs here. Here's another one I've seen. And this one I wouldn't say it has issues, it just it doesn't have any compression. 
but that doesn't mean anything. Most of these old engines, if you're looking at it, the valve isn't moving, so most of these old engines are, you know, stuff stuff is going to be stuck anyway. So I would I wouldn't call that uh, something that's well. I, w I wouldn't say that's bad. I would I, I would use that, but I noticed it has a cast iron head. And then I'm looking around, and I see another 5S here. And I think, yeah, that has a cast iron head. So at one time, I'm gonna I'm gonna build a V twin, and that's like a match set them two engines. So I don't want I don't want to use them. And let's see. I don't feel like climbing back there. But anyway, here's one up front I just seen, and it it actually has compression, but it's it's tight you know it goes around and it hits a, it's a spot where it's it sticks so this one this one has issues but if you look at it, it has when it has that many fins on it that's an aluminum head so it looks like the only one I have here with an aluminum head maybe there's one back there it looks like it looks like a match but anyway, you know, I get these, I get to find these all the time. So I think what I'm going to do is grab this one and bring it in. It has, it has something different on here. It has like a, an arm and uh, this thing on top of the head. So it's, that was probably for some kind of application. Maybe it was off a lawnmower. But anyway, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to take that one down. I guess we'll use that. All right, come on. All right, I think this thing here with the bridging stratton sticker and the tank on here. I can't I can't see the emblem, but uh, it might be a W or it might be an N. And you see, back here, it's got like a bowl carburetor, you know, and it goes down. So I think I think this is what an N is supposed to look like. Like I said, it's it's uh, too far away for me to get a look at, but I know some of the N's had this. I know they they've been around a long time. I think they were from like 40, 49 maybe or or 40, 42 or something to 53 or something, but. I know it ran a long time, probably had a lot of, a lot of changes, but uh, I don't know. I'd have to, I'd have to research it. And, like I say, take it apart. But I noticed while I was up here, I have a couple WMs. See, I, w I would never hack up a WM or a WI. I think this might be a WI here, and that's a WMB, and that one there is a WM. You know, they were washing machine engines way back when. But they're desirable and and people like them, so I wouldn't I wouldn't hack them up. You know they're a pretty expensive engine when they're cleaned up. So, all right, let's take this engine down and uh, take a look at it. All right, I brought the engine down. I should have waited for one of the kitties to bring it down for me. You know, we almost fell. But anyway, I got it out here. If Road King falls, the show's over. So after looking at it. It looks like yeah. Uh, looks like something we're gonna use. Let me bring it inside and get a better look at it. I just put a lawnmower back in, and I looked up here. It looks like I have another WI. I don't even know where the hell I get these things, but uh, it looks like it's missing a, a fuel tank. But other than that, it looks pretty good. Pretty cool. All right, I'm back in the garage. After looking at it a little bit, I didn't take it apart yet. Uh, it looks like a good candidate for what I want to do. You know, you, you look at it and you say, you know, is it, is it going to cost you more money to fix it and make it into a, a nice functional engine than if you hack it up and make something special out of it? And in this case, you know, looking at, looking at the gas tank, it actually, here you go, you see that green stuff? It actually has varnish in it. It stinks like hell, but that could probably be saved. The carburetor is a little, uh, little funky, but that could probably be saved too. But anyway, it's missing it's missing the air cleaner, the egg corn. I mean, I have them laying around, but uh, you know, you look at that and you say, okay, it needs that. The shroud looks like somebody decided they wanted to clean it with uh, a screwdriver, which is no problem. You know, you could uh, you could repaint that, but I can feel it's pretty dented up here. It's missing the emblem, so you're not going to use it as an original shroud. The sides are all dented. That I mentioned has a little crack here you'd have to weld that up no problem but uh, you know we got them laying around too but anyway this looks like a, a later engine like I said earlier 
because it has this, you know, the, the fill the oil, this is just spring loaded. You just hang that off to the side and fill the oil up and then just uh, flip it back in place. Plus, it uh, looks like it has an aluminum tank on there. You can see right here, you see there's a magnet. And uh, here's, here's one with a cast iron, so you know this one's a little bit older. Same with the head, cast iron head. It's an older version. I had you zoomed in, sorry about that. And like I said earlier, oh, yeah, this head, when you see this many fins, you know, that's aluminum too. So I don't feel bad about uh, taking this one apart. I don't know if I said, like I said, it needs a muffler. You know, that one's all, all cracked up. But this one here, I just turn it. It's hard to turn. I think that's uh, probably just because it's hitting some shit and crudding inside the, the cylinder. But other than that, you hear it pissing. Which means it has a little compression, so. Alright, I don't know if I mentioned, but uh, all we're going to do with this, nothing nothing big, nothing major. I'll probably just uh, cut all the valves out, and we're going to make this into an overhead valve engine. I don't know if I'm going to use two valves, two rockers, or uh, just one rocker and one atmospheric valve. You know, we'll play it by ear. So that's where we're at. Yeah, I can't get into the big projects anymore that I need help with, because... Uh, Mike, Mike doesn't come around uh, very much anymore. I haven't seen him in two months. He's got so much work of his own. He's working all the time, so I can't uh, depend on him. I got a little little uh, dirt bike. You know, if I need help, he can come over and stuff. But uh, he don't have time either. You know, he's got college, and I only see him maybe uh, two hours a week. So we're gonna do this one alone, and whatever help I can find along the way, we'll take it. But other than that just me and you guys so like I said it's just an introduction to the next project we're not we're not going to do anything we're not going to take it apart that's all going to be in the next one so uh, we'll see you guys there this winter's project overhead valve Briggs alrighty enough of this